All right, what's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR, and I'm excited because in this video, we're gonna talk about Naughty Dog's uh, Factions 2. Of course, there, of course, there isn't an, you know, an official name for it yet, but I'm calling it Factions 2. Naughty Dog's Factions 2 standalone multiplayer. And right now, they are on a hiring spree uh, for this game's development, right? Now, because they're, they've been on a hiring spree for a while, right? These posts have been uh, posted as early as last year, right? So we don't know how far they are in development. Um, the fact that they're still doing all this hiring could be a bad sign that it's still somewhat early in development, or it could be in the middle. Um, we know that for multiplayer games, developers hire uh, even after its release. So we can't really use all this hiring um, as an absolute indicator as as to where they uh, are in develop in development. But um, yesterday, the most recent position posted for uh, this standalone multiplayer, and I can't remember the first time they uh, they confirmed or acknowledged that th that factions two is a standalone multiplayer. But it is it excites me just the fact that this thing is real and it's acknowledged because if you remember. Uh, all of us who are Factions fans um, were very distraught when Neil Druckmann came out and said, I think it was not too long before The Last of Us. Um, no, it might have been the year before The Last of Us uh, to The Last of Us 2's release. But I think it was not too long before the initial before the before it was before the uh, the delay. Uh, he told us that Factions or the multiplayer would not be launching with The Last of Us Part Two, which was very upsetting because as far as we knew, it definitely was. And But there were signs and stuff like that because like, why haven't we seen the multiplayer up until this point? People were questioning, questioning them and that's when they came out and acknowledged it. But let me read what this uh, Twitter post said and it's from the Naughty Dogs, Naughty Dog Jobs uh, official Twitter. It says, Naughty Dog is hiring across multiple disciplines for the studio's first standalone multiplayer game, right? And here are all the positions that they are hiring for. And some of these positions go like um, well into like a year ago, I think, up to like a year ago. Um, some of these may have been filled. In fact, I know a few of these have been filled. So some of the posts have been taken down, but I still saved a few of the positions that I know uh, that I had saved from like a year ago because me and some me and uh, this guy that I know on Twitter have been keeping track of uh, you know the development of this multiplayer because there are people who are definitely you know um, very high on the uh, high on this multiplayer and look forward to it just as much as me. So here are the positions they're hiring for or have been hiring for: a monetization economy designer, multiplayer backend programmer, associate gameplay scripter. Um, level environment designer, systems uh, systems designer, visual effects artist, AI programmer, animation programmer, uh, QA pos certain QA positions, and development support. And this is all for multiplayer. This isn't just general naughty dog positions um, to work on different projects. This is specifically for the multiplayer because, as, as we know, naughty dog is are, are working on different projects. Uh, there was we know the rumored there uh, the rumor of their official next gen game, which I think is code name called Strays Cross or something like that. Um, and we know there's the rumor of them uh, re remaking the original Last of Us game, which, in my opinion, is a waste of their time. Not that I wouldn't get it day one. I would. But I don't think that's the most efficient use of their time. But that's a that's a different story. I'm not going to go off in a tangent uh, regarding that. But I'm excited about this, right? And I got obviously have to give a little bit of background um, for anybody who not who's not familiar. I love Last of Us Factions, right? It's it's very underrated. Um, a lot of people didn't give it a chance simply because people see Naughty Dog as a single player, story driven game developer, and I understand why because that they do that amazing. Lee, right that that's where they uh that's that you know that's where they make their money really that's their selling point and and i get that but i don't i don't understand the mentality people act act like because you too you you're known or you do one thing the best that you can't do something 
else the best also you can't be great at it because uncharted 2's multiplayer was fantastic anybody who's played it knows that the uncharted 2 multiplayer was amazing you did yourself a disservice if you have never played last of us factions or you've never played uncharted 2's multiplayer of course and i'm purposely not mentioning uncharted 4 or 3's multiplayer because those are a different story Four was better than three. Three was a complete disaster. We're gonna we're not gonna get into that. But the point is, Naughty Dog does a really good job at develop developing multiplayer games, right? They are great in my opinion. But once again, people don't really give them a chance, a fair shot, because they see Naughty Dog as uh, you know single player story um, game developers. Which you know, in my opinion, you're you're really just uh, doing yourself a disservice. Like like I said, uh, because you know they're they're more than that and with with it with how much people brag about their talent i don't know why you wouldn't try out all the different things that they do but i'm excited about this because it being a standalone multiplayer means that it's its own project getting getting all the attention all the all the focus the manpower and resources that a, another that another uh naughty dog project uh would get right um, because usually the multiplayer comes with a single player and initially that's upsetting to hear that it didn't launch with a single player but now I'm actually glad it does it, it didn't launch with a single player because this is going to be a dedicated focus uh, 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 you know project that that gets all the love and manpower and dedication that a for example a single player uh, naughty dog uh, can uh, you know story would get now obviously like i said the whole the whole naughty dog studio isn't working on last of us factions too obviously that's that's not happening but it is a greater team than i'm sure worked on the the uh, original factions game which for what it was and for how many people probably worked on it is once again an extremely impressive and great multiplayer right so it this is going to be I, I truly believe that this is going to be like a full-fledged multiplayer experience that, you know, um, could rival other projects and other titles we see in, in the industry, right? Because it's not just like a companion, uh, you know, or it's not just like a, a companion or additional content to a to a, a, a single player games package it's its own entity and its own thing and it's going to get all the justice that it deserves uh in development so that's that's very exciting um and you know people always you know talk about how i played factions and i'm getting a little into a little bit of background about my you know my experience with factions i played factions for what seems to be over the the the, the timeline of like seven years right and i love the game but i didn't play factions because it's it's like worth playing it's that good that it's worth pl playing for seven years trust me it's really good is it worth playing for seven years good no the only game multiplayer games that i've played for like that long are like um probably battlefield 3 and socom 2 and that's because like with most multiplayer games i i, I think most of them are worth playing you know over the course of i don't know uh, if i had to throw an arbitrary random number out there you know th maybe around three years and then i move on to something else that doesn't mean that the last the you know me leaving it is means it's bad it just means i, mo I move on to another multiplayer but over the last seven, eight years, you know, since The Last of Us, uh, last the original Last of Us came out, the industry made a big shift into the type of multiplayer games it was releasing, right? They, they just completely abandoned and left, you know, traditional style of multiplayer games. They started making things like Overwatch and all these battle royale games and all in Fortnite and and like just all all these things that make me feel as a as a multiplayer person. Y'all know this. I felt completely abandoned. I'm like, yo, for seven years and you know, PlayStation wasn't really supporting multiplayer games, and that's one of the main complaints I had um, 
about PlayStation and a lot of you know you, you a lot of these weirdo PlayStation fans tried to argue with, argue with me oh they don't need to make multiplayer games uh you know just play Call of Duty if I wanted to play Call of Duty I'll play Call of Duty if I wanted to play Battlefield or any of these multiplayer games I would play that I hate when people when you r- demand something from a company that they should give you because PlayStation is charging for you to play online so PlayStation should also um give you some content to play online it's not only up to third party because third party isn't charging me for multiplayer playstation is so the internal first party playstation developers are the ones who should be giving me multiplayer games to play and you know playstation dudes have are very anti-multiplayer and and, you know and they have all these excuses oh if they make multiplayer with 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 single with single player then the then the single player campaign is gonna suffer and and you know because they're not going to be focused on it and you know I, I want the best single player experience like you know and and I've made this argument so many times like why do y'all treat Naughty Dog like y'all say PlayStation has the best developers in the world but suddenly when it comes to to making multiplayer games y'all act like they are these inept inexperienced just children just just like absolute novices right and it's so strange to me I never understood that about PlayStation fans, why they're so anti-multiplayer, right? And that got on my nerves um, because I feel like, yeah, we could be getting a lot. Like, there's so so many, like, gems that PlayStation has made in the, in the multiplayer space that people don't, like, just give them credit for and don't acknowledge. And it's like, I, I don't know what it is with PlayStation fans. Like, even God of War Ascension's multiplayer, that, um, that multiplayer was great. It was great. But nobody really paid attention to it enough. And like people just assumed it was, you know, tacked on because, you know, tacked on is like that term that people love to throw around, especially like years ago and everything like that. But I guess it's also PlayStation's fault in a way, because, you know, with the PlayStation 4 generation, they fed their their base um, just all these great single player experiences, which is great. Right. That people that people were brainwashed into thinking, oh, who needs multiplayer? Like, no, we still need multiplayer experiences. That's that's still, you know, that's still a great thing to complement all these single player games, right? But you know, that's that's how the PlayStation fan base was, and you know, those people are absolute idiots, and I hate them. Um, so I'm glad that PlayStation, not only with Last of Us uh, Factions Two standalone multiplayer but they've made investments into all these other studios like jade raymond and i forgot all these other uh, the other studio names um they're built they're like supporting studios these brand new studios um whose projects are multiplayer games and they're like you know they're going to be playstation games of course not first party their second party whatever they may be on pc but it's it's to bring more multiplayer games to the PlayStation library. So the thing that I've been screaming about for the last eight years, PlayStation knows it's a problem that they don't have enough multiplayer content. They know that, right? It's only weird PlayStation fans that seem to, you know, make excuses for them and damage control for them when PlayStation knows knows it themselves that they have a gap, that they that they have this, uh, this gap um, that they need, this void that they need to fill, right? But my point was, that before going on that long tangent, the industry just like the industry just weren't wasn't making multiplayer games that I liked. I feel like during the PS3 generation, like every other game, multi every other game that had multiplayer, I felt like it was my type of multiplayer game. And then during the PS4, uh, you know, Xbox One generation, they were like making multi. I, I'm like, I don't know if am I getting old or something like that because every multiplayer game that. I, I felt was in development and it was coming out. It was made for kids and hipsters, right? I'm like, who wants to play this trash? It, it's so weird and bad. Like these games didn't even have traditional multiplayer modes like capture the flag and, um, you know, domination. You know, of course, Call of Duty and, and stuff had those type of modes. And I love I love Battlefield and everything like that. But most of them just were a far cry from what I liked in multiplayer. And that's why I was screaming for, hey, we need some multiplayer games from these uh, first party PlayStation studios because they're once again uh, charging us for online. So all that to say is I hope this launches next year.
I, Naughty Dog won't have a problem filling all these roles for a multiplayer because it's Naughty Dog. I'm sure they're, they, you know, they attract the talent very easily. Um, I, I really hope it launches next year, though, because I, I can't wait till 2003, 2023, excuse me. Um, because, I mean, Last of Us released last year. I shouldn't have to wait two years after that releases to get the standalone multiplayer project. And we did see some leaks and some what seemed to be like testing um, going on, uh, some you know actual gameplay leaks of, of the factions multiplayer. Uh, you know, it, it was very very early testing, so not not much we can go off of other than they were like testing some character models and some environments and maps and stuff like that. So, you know, we don't even really know um, if this project was. Uh, was fully off the the ground, even when even when you know uh, before Last of Us Part Two release, you know at its release, we don't know like if they were actually working on it, um, or if they just put it on hold to finish the game, and I we don't you know and, and then move on to the multiplayer. We don't know. Point is that I'm glad they're on hiring spree. I, I'm glad they're making this multiplayer, and I hope this multiplayer will kind of break that uh that stereotype that naughty dog has kind of break that that belief system and that ideology of playstation fans like oh who cares about multiplayer naughty dog doesn't need to make multiplayer i hope this this is so good that it, and it gets enough attention and i'm not worried about the player base like the player base is always going to be there it's it, it's so funny that even though people kind of write off naughty dog when it comes to multiplayer like all their multiplayers have legs and and last very long you can turn on factions factions right now and get into a, a match instantly like no time it instantly it's it's the servers are never dead like there it's funny that like once again people make naughty dog to be these single player story driven game developers but there are literally other multiplayer games that have come before it and after it that have died faster than factions Factions is still very live and well. I mean, I'm sure the player base is a lot smaller than what it was seven years ago, but you'd have no problem finding a match now. And I, and and I'm everybody knows I'm a beast at the multiplayer, but I will say I tried it after like not playing for like what seems to be at least a year, like and and move, and playing so many other multiplayer games. Oh man, factions is hard to play, especially like when I play multiplayer games now at like 120 frames and stuff like that. That 60 frames on factions feels like it's honestly 30. Even the movement, um, and I'm and I'm and I like that style of like tactical, uh, slower gameplay that factions has. Um, yeah, that that movement is is it's hard to go back to. Um, but yeah, I mean, and there's been rumors about, you know, it's it's going to have a battle royale mode. Listen, I, I just want it to have traditional modes. I want it to be supported. Um, I don't want it to be free to play. I don't care about like people like, oh, it should be free, uh, you know, for people who bought the game. I don't I don't I don't care. I don't care about none of that stuff. I just want it to be good. And I personally have my gripes with with multiplayer games that are free to play. Call me crazy. I would rather it cost money than than it to be free because free to play games come with certain issues, um, and I'm not saying it should cost forty or even sixty dollars for you know because of standalone multiplayer, but I'm saying it should cost money. Whether it's nine ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine, it should cost money because that barrier of entry to me is actually a good thing for multiplayer games. Um, so yeah, I need some traditional modes in there. Um, you know, maybe a carrot, you know, a, a bunch of weapons. They always don't go with the weapons, you know, a, a customiz good customization, all of that stuff. Um, leveling system, yeah. And uh, I'm going to be covering, I'm going to do my best to cover everything that comes out about, uh, you know, factions and its development and everything like that. Uh, because y'all know, like, this is probably, it's definitely one of my favorite multiplayers ever. Definitely that. So... Let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload or go live. Hit the join button to support the channel. And uh, follow me on Twitter if you're not. And yeah, I like I said, I will definitely stay on top of coverage regarding Last of Us uh, Part 2, Factions 2, whatever the hell it's going to be called, standalone multiplayer. All right, I'm out.
Peace.